partnerships and integrations for uh, Sovereign Protocol. We're certainly a team around the world. A lot of the, the developers are pseudonymous, um, and others are more public facing. Uh, so uh, we believe in giving Bitcoin superpowers. Um, you know, Bitcoin is is the freedom to transfer value to anyone around the world, obviously without um, any intermediaries. Um, but whenever you want to trade, lend, um, you're kind of sacrificing that, that sovereignty. So um, one of our main slogans is stay sovereign and we're, we're building software so that you can in fact do that. Um, so next slide. All right, so sovereign, we're creating an open, fair, transparent financial system of the world. So as I said, Bitcoin is sovereign money and we're trying to build a, the, a layer on top of Bitcoin that has a whole financial suite um, where you can perform uh, actions such as like swaps, uh, liquidity provision, um, leveraging long and short up to 5x, uh, interest earning, um, and to have it be as permissionless as possible as, as uh, Bitcoin itself is. Um, so yeah, we believe in not your keys, not your coins. So completely non-custodial platform. And um, you know, it's providing a solution um, where you don't need KYC, you don't um, need to trust any, any uh, intermediaries. Oh, next slide. All right, so thankfully, we got a 15 minute presentation about RSK. That's the, the base layer chain that Sovereign utilizes. It is great. The strengths are the EVM compatibility. So a lot of the innovations from the Ethereum ecosystem that we see, Uniswap, Maker, Aave, a Compound, these are awesome things uh, coming from the Ethereum ecosystem. But you know, thanks to uh, the RSK sidechain, we can take all that stuff and and you know, plug it into a, uh, a chain that is more native to Bitcoin, secured by Bitcoin proof of work, um, and doesn't rely on uh, another token for, for gas. So um, you can trade and, and pay for those transactions using, uh, using Bitcoin. Um, so we can, we can see the slide. All right, so um, as I said before, um, you can, you can take your Bitcoin. We have what is called fast BTC relay. So it, it's a solution, a quick solution we have for, for uh, loading up your BTC onto the RSK chain. So it's, it's one transaction, one transaction, one confirmation, and it converts your Bitcoin to the RBTC peg. And that's what allows you to, um, to use uh, the Sovereign protocol. So it's as simple as plug, plugging your, uh, your Web3 wallet, your quality wallet, um, onto onto the platform, and then you can, you know, within a few seconds, you can you know you can get started performing uh, your your leverage trades. Um, so, you know, one of the benefits is that uh, the gas fees are super low, like 50x lower than than typical Ethereum transaction. Uh, it's a lot more scalable, and um, and we're yeah we're offering. Um, lending of stable coins for earning interest. Um, we have our own uh, uh, Bitcoin backed stable coin listed on there uh, called DOP. Um, shout out to Money on Chain. And, um, you know, we're just trying to keep, uh, you know, we observe the Ethereum community as, as kind of like a test net for, for Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, we watch uh, all these innovations, all these deals farming, these, um, you know, options trading, all, all the cool stuff. From there, and like you know, thanks to the EVM compatibility of RSK, we can we can um, bring a lot of the best ideas from that ecosystem uh, onto you know onto our platform. Okay, so Sovereign we've got audited smart contracts, uh, we've got an insurance fund, uh, completely open source, and uh, yeah, secured by Bitcoin. Oh sure, yeah, uh, it's completely secured by Bitcoin. I'll post this. I'll post for this photo. Yes. 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 Yes.
All right, so, so who runs it? When we want to make changes to the protocol, when we want to adjust fees, when we want to like signal like what decisions we want to make as a collective, uh, we form what is called the Batocracy. Uh, that is our term for our, for our governance platform. Um, so it's composed entirely of uh, contributors, uh, investors, traders, uh, builders. Um, it's something that anyone can take part in. Uh, we have a public forum at forum.sovereign.app. You'll see uh, proposals for listings of, of new tokens, uh, proposals for um, protocol changes, adjustments, uh, you know, even, even bug fixes. Um, and the, the, um, the asset that uh, is utilized for, for staking and voting for the Batocracy is the, is the SOV token. Can you go back to this slide? Is the SOV token. So Sovereign does have a token. However, it is not a currency. It is not paying network fees. Um, it is strictly just for um, we're just voting upon, uh, on the protocol and use its voting power. Um, so one of the unique things that we do with our governance system is that you can you can commit to staking for a period of time, it can be months or years, and it actually uh, it multiplies your your voting power. So um, you know if, if if you stake for a few years and someone else has twice the amount of um, of SOV tokens that that you're staking, you you would actually have more more go, uh, governing power. So what we're trying to do is encourage, um, you know, long-term believers, long-term stakeholders, um, you know, and get them more in, invested in like the long-term uh, success of the sovereign protocol. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, as I explained in this slide, um, there's lots of incentives for for the SMB holders. They can stake and earn fees. Uh, they can vote on proposals. Um, and with our Origins platform, which is a launch pad that we built to launch our own token in the, in the most decentralized way possible, um, you know, we had this, the sale of the SLB token all programmed, all on chain, um, and uh, proposed and then uh, deployed. So um, we launched our DAO, we launched our governance token, and um, since we built all this software to to jumpstart our system. We're offering that for, for other projects um, in the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem to, to do the same, um, you know, and we're happy to support them. Um, you can... uh, so some data we've got, last time I checked, $55 million worth of um, Bitcoin, stable coins, and uh, our pegged version of, of Ether. On uh, locked in, in the system, uh, we recently launched a bridge to to Ethereum where um, users can stake their native Ether uh, on one on one chain, and then on on our chain, a, a pegged version of, of Ether uh, gets issued on our side. And it's, it's tradable with with Bitcoin, stable coins, etc. So that worked out well for us. It it just about doubled the the amount of volume uh, circulating within the system. We've got 15,000 holders of this SOB token. Uh, more than half of them are actually staking it in our governance system, uh, which is actually uh, pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, daily transaction volume, anywhere between five and 10 million uh, flowing in and out. All right, so what's ahead? Um, you know, we're, our goal is to become the number one financial operating system for, for Bitcoin. And uh, you know, we've got perpetual swaps in order. The Origins platform, we want to, to launch more projects that are you know, advancing uh, DeFi for, for Bitcoin on our platform. We want to give them our support. And um, you know, we're, we're building up a schedule of, of uh, new launches of uh, you know, exciting new projects. We've got stablecoin baskets. Um, shout outs to, to Battlefish. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to aggregate all the all the stablecoins and have like a uniform basket that uh, 
that defragmentizes the, uh, the stable coins between USDC, Tether, DAI, um, having like a uniform uh, XUSD that unifies all the liquidity of these stable coins um, will provide for more, a more fluid uh, trader experience. Um, so we've got bridges to other chains. We, we launched uh, the bridge to Ethereum uh, last week, I believe. And so far that is going well, and we're, we're testing the bridge to the, to the Binance Smart Chain. Um, and so that should be deployed soon. Um, it's pretty remarkable how fast uh, we've been able to ship things as this project is not even a year old. And uh, we've, yeah, we've come uh, pretty far. Um, we've got NFTs, we've got comics, video art. You've noticed the, this uh, sensei looking badger here. Um, it's all part of our brands. We're, we're fans of comic books. We're fans of graffiti, hip hop. Um, you know, we try to build a culture around this. And um, so these, these characters that, that are designed, they'll, they'll be uh, put into a comic book um, series. So it all, it'll all make sense one day. <laughs> uh, so we just started the, the Sovereign-thon. Um, we're, we're devoting 500K um, in funds for, for grants and bounties um, with multiple tracks. And the goal of it is to get more people uh, building uh, with us on our protocol. Um, you know, we, we, we love open source. We, we want to incentivize people to take interest in, in us and building on our chain and building on our protocol. So we've got a six week long hackathon um, you know, with, with talks and blog posts and uh, multiple tracks. Some partners include um, Blockstack, uh, API3, Akash Network, um, et cetera. So if you check our blog, you can see the whole post about it. Uh, and we have bi-weekly community calls on Discord. So usually like 150, 170 people show up um, you can come ask questions. Um, you know, we have our our contributors uh, give updates on uh, the product, on development, on uh, on adoption, uh, strategy, and and governance. So, uh, you know, we're a pretty open community, and and you know, anyone can, can pretty much come join. So, follow us on Twitter, uh, Sovereign BTC. If you have questions about the hackathon, it's not too late. You can take part. Um, and uh, thanks a lot for listening. <laughs>
modify the front end to accommodate your listing, then that might require a proposal or you just have to talk to them and convince them it's worth doing. But uh, yeah, only, only certain things actually require a proposal. Something like minting a token though might require like minting or two. Are you guys exactly you're because you guys have wrap tokens, you're not really making new tokens on your chain or well, Yeah, so I it's, Sovereign is basically, it's a DEX, it's a lending protocol, and then you can combine those to make a margin trading protocol okay. right now. So if you want to just like mint a token, you know, anybody can deploy an ERC-20 like or or yeah. contract on an RSK and do that permissionlessly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you had a question next. I have a question, yeah. What, what is the Origins platform? Like, yeah, so the Origins platform was, was what we built to, to launch our own uh, token. Um, and it allowed for programmatic sales that could whitelist specific addresses, like early users of the of the platform. Um, you know, configuring the, the sale of the token at a at a particular price. And um, the Origins platform is, it is kind of like a a launch pad for for other projects that want to go through a similar um, uh, fundraising and um, DAO launching uh, process. So it creates a DAO also. Um, I don't know. Or it's more for the just the token, the token sale. Uh, it, it can be just for the the token sale, right. but um, you know they can they can very easily just you know fork our our governance uh, protocol and have it as they as they wish. Yeah. So my question is, if I am a project, you know, a token, mm -hmm. and I want to go into your DeFi here, how different it is that doing a bridge into the Ethereum DeFi and take me through the process. How is the process? Oh, right. So I think the question is like, if like if you had like an ERC-20 token that you wanted trading on on, on Sovereign, is, was that yes. the question? Right, so like we're, we're building a, a, a bridge that allows um, assets from other chains to um, uh, to lock on their chain, and then like the issuance of a pegged version of that on on the RSK chain. Um, so it would take a little bit of uh, developer resources uh, between both sides, I think, uh, to work that out. But you know, it's as simple as uh, reaching out and saying, "Hey, I want to launch, um, you know, a version of this project on on the RSK chain." And, um, usually, it's good to like approach the the community about it um, on the calls or on the forum. And how long it takes, and how the liquidity pool works. So right. So it, it would require, yeah, it would, work, it would require some some coordination um, because if you know if you're launching on another chain, you're going to want liquidity liquidity on that side. So it would be a coordinated effort of finding the liquidity and pooling it um, for that. Yeah. Do a, one more question. What is the size of your insurance fund versus the fifty-five million dollars total value lock? Uh, or in, more exactly, the exposure, right? Mm -hmm. How much money can the depositors lose? And does your insurance fund, does it grow faster or slower than the exposure? And what are you gonna do oh. about it if it grows not as fast? Gotcha. Um, so I'm not sure the exact number of SOB tokens that are staked in the governance at the moment. Um, so it's, it's difficult to, to answer that question, but um, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how it com would compare to the total value locked but in the system. The stakers take the risk of so much, right? Huh? It's a thing that exists, but it's not. Gotcha. So, um, yeah. 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 yeah, it's a thing that exists, but it's not, it's not quite live uh, yet. Okay, thank you. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.